talk, I would like to discuss something related to meditation again, uh, mindfulness. Uh, we learn, when we learn Buddhism, we learn three aspects of Buddhism. Uh, ethical aspect, then um, aspect of mental development, uh, then we learn development of wisdom, uh, development of ethical aspect of our life, development of uh, mental culture or mental development. Uh, in another words, can say mental ethics. Uh, then uh, wisdom aspect, uh, these three aspects. Buddhism means only these three aspects, but these th three aspects covers everything related to our life. Uh, here, what I want to say is, uh, under mental development, we have mindfulness meditation. Uh, we practice mindfulness. Uh, and we know there are many results to be achieved through mindfulness. Uh, one is the most important achievements which we can achieve through mindfulness meditation is Awareness, um, clear attention, if not uh, awareness. Uh, that uh, quality is important for all our actions. If we want to achieve spiritual development, uh, this very awareness is necessary for all our uh, activities. Mm, without that, we cannot improve our activities, we cannot develop our activities. Uh, sometimes people think first aspect of Buddhist teaching, ethical aspect, uh, development of ethics. We have five precepts, we have ten precepts, and uh, there are other uh, advanced precepts also. Um, Generally, people think uh, to practice ethical development uh, or achieve uh, higher uh, levels of ethical development, uh, meditation aspect is not so important. That's how many people think. And what, when we teach meditation, we tell people, if you want to achieve success of your meditation, you must have ethical development. You must have certain sealer or principles, at least five precepts. Almost every meditation teacher tells us about this. At least you must have five precepts then you can achieve uh, good
good results of your mental development. They talk about that, but uh, uh, generally not many people say in order to achieve ethical development, you need meditation. The other way, not many people talk about the other way. But in actual fact, if you want to practice sila or morality and uh, improve your morality, improve your ethical development, you need meditation also. Cannot separate meditation from that. Meditation is very uh, important. Uh, I can give you an example. Uh, when we talk about precepts or sila, if not principles, we say abstain from many kind of things. Huh? In five precepts, what we learn also abstain from five wrong things. In first one, start with uh, abstain from killing, but it covers many aspects all kind of cruel activities uh, also included there. You have to abstain from that. Uh, then, second precept, if they come, abstain from stealing and practicing honesty. Uh, then, uh, like this, we have uh, principles, five principles, and there are many other principles also. Uh, here, if we talk about a person live in the pri live in a pri uh, prison, uh, he can be a uh, a uh, very notorious criminal. Huh? A notorious criminal is staying in a prison cell due to his uh, evil actions. But when he lives, when such a person lives in the prison cell, he doesn't do anything wrong also, generally. Huh? Uh, I can say generally he doesn't do anything wrong. He doesn't kill, he doesn't steal, he does not uh, violate the third precept, that means adultery. Uh, then he doesn't, he may hardly have a chance to tell lies. Uh, telling lies can't get any good results uh, when he is in the prison cell, so he may not want to tell lies also. Uh, then uh, taking intoxicants also, near impossible. I use the word near impossible because in some countries it is possible. Huh? <laughs> if the prisoner is very notorious, very powerful. Intoxicants also can go to the prison. Huh? There are suppliers. Uh, so, generally such a person hardly does uh, violation of good principles. He uh, live there, he has no chance to violate any good principles. But can we tell such a person is practicing sila? Or can we tell his ethical development is growing? He is progressing based on ethical development. Hmm? Uh, my understanding is when a person is in such a situation, 
Although he abstained from all kind of unethical practices, his ethical development is not uh, happening. Of course, in prisons have rehabilitation programs, all these, then they try to help him uh, to correct his uh, behavior before he uh, finishes uh, period of time staying in the prison, those things may help uh, a bit. That is a different thing. But when a person is in the jail, in a prison cell, uh, just because he does not violate ethical principles does not mean his ethical uh, ethical aspect of his life can be developed. Uh, the same way I can bring in another example, but totally a different person. Uh, uh, prison man is no very notorious, notorious uh, criminal. But uh, again, even 100% different from such a person, uh, I can bring into the uh, explanation. A baby, uh, uh, very, very young baby. Uh, baby cannot tell lies because baby does not talk. Baby cannot do any killing. Uh, uh, and even cannot think of that kind of things. The brain cells were not grown to think so much. Huh? Uh, when he feels, he or she, baby, feels hungry, knows how to cry and ask for it. When the baby feels pain, knows, cry and ask for help. Uh, they have feelings. Uh, they have certain emotions, but brain is not grown, so they cannot tell lies. They cannot kill, they cannot tell lies, they cannot steal, uh, other things also, no intoxicants. Uh, babies are not doing anything wrong. Uh, generally, they don't do anything wrong. Uh, but can we say the baby is practicing five precepts, ten precepts, or uh, the abstain from ten kind of bad actions and doing ten kind of good actions? Huh? I am telling these things for you to think. Huh? Um, so my understanding is uh, baby is very pure, hmm? very innocent. There is no doubt about that. Totally different from the early example, first example I have given. Even that, what can I say is, baby is not a developer of ethical aspect, not practicing seal. Baby is not practicing five precepts or any other precepts. Uh, so, baby's ethical development, there is nothing for us to say about ethical development of a baby, about a very young baby. So, that is where we have to think of this special quality awareness, mindfulness, huh? uh, mindfulness is very important. Uh, the prisoner not doing anything, any wrong thing, it is not that he is mindful. Mindfully, he, not, he is not doing anything wrong. He is mindful and mindfully think not to do anything wrong. 
it is not happening with the prisoner. So, no development, no ethical development is happy, happening. Baby, on the other hand, totally a different person, innocent, very pure. Even that, we cannot say baby is developing ethical aspect of his or her life. Huh? Because the baby is totally unaware of uh, that, unaware of that aspect. Huh? Um, so, uh, when we are doing, what I want to say is this, we may be like that also, huh? if we don't use our intelligence, if we don't use our wisdom part, wisdom part of our life, if we don't use, mm, we hardly get the opportunity to develop our ethical aspect of our life. When we abstain from any kind of wrong things, uh, awareness is very important. When we abstain from killing and all kind of cruel activities with awareness, we should do it with awareness. It is not by force we have to develop awareness. Naturally, we can develop love and compassion. When we abstain from such things, naturally, we develop uh, that. Huh? Uh, recently, I asked somebody uh, when that person was talking about food, I asked, do you eat crabs? Then that person said, um, he used to eat a lot of crabs. Uh, and after he started to learn Buddhism and pay more attention towards Buddhist teaching, he does, he don't eat, he doesn't eat. He said, he can't think of eating crabs, huh? Uh, but sometimes we are very clever. When we want to eat, we can forget about that. Huh? <laughs> so he say he cannot. Huh? Because naturally, he has some thoughts of um, compassion, compassionate thoughts. Uh, naturally, he get uh, metta. So very difficult to enjoy eating, uh, uh, enjoy eating crabs. Huh? Uh, so, uh, ethical development does not happen automatically also. We have to have an awareness. If you have awareness and we know this is wrong, we should not do it, we must abstain from that. That's called awareness. Huh? Uh, about abstain from taking things which are not given and uh, practicing generosity, it, that link to the second present. With awareness we do it, we know uh, taking things which are not given is bad. It gives uh, uh, some kind of hurts to owners of those things. On the other hand, practicing generosity can bring happy thoughts, happy feelings, pleasant feelings to um, others, receivers, when we practice generous acts. So with such thoughts, when we do uh, our practicing of second seal, other precepts are also like that. When we practice moral principles with that kind of understanding, there is a mental development. So what is the force, energy behind this understanding? That is none other than uh, mindfulness. So we have to do whatever we do as good practices. 
even as ethical developments we have to do mindfully we should be mindful we should be aware of that then uh, growth of uh, ethical aspect of our life uh, will be very clear uh, we can develop ethical aspect of our life so uh, we should not take mindfulness meditation lightly uh, uh, just sit and watch breathing alone is not mindfulness we have to have mindfulness towards all aspect of our life ethical aspect mental development uh, aspect of uh, wisdom uh, for development of all these things we need mindfulness uh, practice we have to be mindful more we mindful with our practices more we have the development without being mindful development is almost impossible so all right i would like to stop here huh thank you